2012 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution Mister. The Evolution Mister and I had only brief, late night and early morning encounters. For the first time, I was happy to find an automatic transmission in an Evo as I was in desperate need of minimum effort transportation. Thus equipped, it actually proved to be a remarkably laid-back chariot, with credit going to its light steering, surprisingly compliant ride, and supportive Recaro sport seats. My only complaint was that, as usual, I could have benefited from a booster seat to better see over the hooded gauge surrounds. I know the Evo Mister has a dual-clutch transmission, we spent a full year living within Mister and I frequently drove that car. Yet each time I get in an Evo, my left foot instinctively pushes in the clutch pedal and when I'm driving in Mister I end up with two feet on the brake before I remember the Mister only has two pedals. Even though this transmission has been out for a few years, I still think the Evo is one of the few cars that really wants a manual transmission. Sure, the dual clutch works well enough and the transmission readily downshifts even in normal mode, but the Evo is so raw the automatic feels out of place. Mitsubishi hasn't done a lot right in recent years, but the suspension tuning for the Evo Mister is almost perfect. The Bilstein dampers do a spectacular job of soaking up impacts that you'd expect the stiff eye back springs to send right up your spine. You still feel all the bumps in the road, but the Mister is not too stiff to live with on a daily basis. The Evo is a great car for those who value speed and grip above all else. The cabin is incredibly loud. The tires wear very quickly. The fuel economy is abysmal and it only drinks premium gas. None of that matters when you find an empty road or track and you can stretch the Evo's legs. It doesn't matter if you're on pavement or dirt, in the dry or in a blizzard. The Evo is always incredibly fast and predictable. It isn't nearly as refined as other high-performance $40,000 cars, but it's not supposed to be. Drivers looking for a raw, visceral ride with all-wheel drive will be thrilled with the Evo. Just make sure to get the manual transmission for the full experience. Want proof the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution is a no-holds-barred performance car? The hood, roof, and front fenders are made from aluminum to saved weight, the washer fluid reservoir is located in the trunk to improve weight balance, even at the expense of cargo capacity. This really is a grin-inducing, street-legal rally car. I especially like the BB's wheels and subtle trunk-lid spoiler that are unique to the Mr. Trim level. Mr. Trim levels of the Evolution also are equipped with Mitsubishi's dual-clutch transmission, and I agree with Phil that the gearbox doesn't really suit this car. Having recently driven a Subaru WRX, I found my left foot instinctively hunting for a clutch pedal each time I started the Mitsubishi.